All right, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the factory Logitech G920 shifter knob and install my aftermarket shift knob for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. Um, in theory, these, this, these switches will work on any game, but I specifically designed this knob for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck. So you're going to remove the silver cap, and then you're just going to take a standard Phillips screwdriver stick it down in here, remove the Phillips screwdriver and the factory knob will come off. You're then going to want to take that Phillips screw out of there. You're going to need that with the knob, the new knob, just like that. Then you're going to want to drop that screw down the middle, like so. Then this part can be a little tricky sometimes, usually not too hard though. Then you're just going to kind of wiggle the knob and start screwing it down. You don't want to go super tight, just pretty snug. There it is, super, pretty snug right there. Then you have that. And then it's just as simple as plugging this in via USB. And then I'm gonna show you how to go in game and set it all up. All right, now that we have the shifter installed, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in with the USB cable. And you hear a couple sounds and you'll probably see a couple setup dialogues. Um, I've already plugged it into this once, so I don't have anything showing up here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click start and then type joy.cpl. You're going to see this come up. Click it. And then you'll see a list of installed game controllers. Um, this particular one is going to be keyboard plus mouse plus joystick or serial plus keyboard plus mouse plus joystick. Go into the properties, and if you hit the switches, you'll notice they're switching. Two and three. So two is going to be the index or middle finger flipper, um, and three is going to be the thumb side toggle there. So go ahead and hit OK and OK. Now we're going to open up American Truck Simulator, or European Truck, whichever one. Go to Options and then Controls. Now, to actually set this up, you're going to have to make sure it is in one of these drop-down lists up here. Um, if you're using a steering wheel, it'll probably say Keyboard Plus Steering Wheel, and then you'll have to select this keyboard mouse joystick in one of the lower dialogues but since i don't have a wheel plugged in right now that will be fine it will use both um you're gonna want the eight shifter obviously you've probably already been through this um automatic adaptive transmission i thought there was a different option here um anyways uh my shift gates have already been set up for the old shifter which isn't plugged in right now so it says missing um, so what you're going to want to do now is for shifter toggle one, you're going to want to click and then you're going to use the finger, the, uh, front flipper to assign to shifter toggle one and then shifter toggle two is going to be the thumb side switch. So you'll see button one, button two, and then make sure you click shifter uses switch mode. If you do not, you'll have to hit each switch twice. Um, that's not what you want. So make sure you have that box checked and then your shift knob will be fully functioning. 